Hey everyone, my name is Joseph Parker. I am a project geologist based in Perth, Western Australia, working for Sequent. Uh, today I'm going to take you through the new combined drill hole set functionality which was introduced in Leapfrog version 2021.2. For a bit of background, in the previous release of Leapfrog, a major feature was introduced which allowed users to import multiple drill hole sets. This opened up some new exciting workflow opportunities, however there were still a few modeling situations where data from the additional drilling data sets could not be included, such as in vein segments which are required to be built from a single table and domain estimations which also require a single table input. In Leapfrog 2021.2 you can overcome these limitations by accessing the new combined drill holes option in the Leapfrog project tree. Any drill hole sets can be combined, with the user specifying which tables to combine, which value or category fields to map together, and the priority order in which to combine them. So, let me show you how it works in Leapfrog 2021.2. Alrighty, so we've got loaded up the Marlin data set, um, and inside the Marlin data set, we have two drill hole sets imported in. So we've got the diamond drill holes up here on the top, and the underground channel samples over here as two separate data sets. Um, expand that out, we've got our GC assay, we've got some gold assays there, let's have a look at those. So we've got a bunch of gold assays all there. And in the diamond drill hole data set, Marlin DH assay, we'll bring that in as well. And there we go, we've got our underground diamond drilling. So what I wanna do is combine these two separate tables into a combined table so that I can build a mineralized load model from the combined data. So to make that combined table, we'll go up to the drill hole data folder and right click. I'm going to use new combined drill holes and interval values. We'll call it combined drill holes. So here we select which tables we would like to combine um, and you can combine any interval tables that's within each of those data sets. Uh, we're going to grab the Marlin DDH assay and we're going to grab the GC assay um, table as well. As you can see, Leapfrog will automatically identify the columns which both share the same name for each data set. So we've got AGPPM as the combined column header, um, which is identified from the AGPPM in the channel samples and the AGPPM in the drill hole, uh, diamond drill holes. And the same thing is uh, true for the gold. You can add and remove columns by simply clicking on them and using the minus or the plus button to remove or to add um, additional columns back in. There we go, we'll just put that silver back in. You can also adjust the priority in which um, one table takes priority in the merge of uh, the other. So if I click on this diamond drill hole one here on the right hand side, I can use the up and down arrows to increase the table priority or decrease the table priority in an effort to resolve any conflicts in spatial data. Uh, for me, I'm going to have the diamond drill holes take priority over the top of the underground channel samples. You can choose a name down here. I'm going to leave it as Marlin. No, oh, we'll call it Marlin assay actually. Combined. And click OK. Leapfrog will process those changes. And once it's ready, if we expand out the combined drill holes uh, table down here in your project tree, we'll see that we have the Marlin assay combined table, which we just made. Um, and it's got a combination of the Marlin DDH assay and the GC assays, which are hyperlinked. So they all link together, uh, back up to your drilling, your diamond drilling, and back up to your channel samples. And then we've got those columns that we brought in. So we've got the AG PPM and the AU PPM. Dragging those into the scene, we can see they are now combined and ready for further processing or modeling using interval selections, group lithologies, whatever you need. To add in additional columns, uh, sorry, tables into your drill, combined drill hole set, you can simply right click on your combined drill holes folder and go to new combined table, interval values, and let's bring in logging information as well, just to see how it's done. Simply choose your TDH geology, for example, there, and we've got our GC geol, okay. And again, it'll pick out lith, which is the same for both data sets. And then we'll click OK after I change this. Mm -hmm. There we go. 
and in your combined drill holes, you'll now see you have an additional column there called Marlin Geology Combined, and again, hyperlink together, and you can bring that in and display by your lithologies. So there you go, combined drill hole data sets. So feel free to jump on to www.sequent.com to download the new Leapfrog 2021.2 version. And if you need any assistance with your projects or the new functionality, always feel free to reach out to us at support at and we'll be happy to help. So happy modeling.